one bourbon, one scotch, the one beer. Today we're going to be talking about whiskey. Whiskey could mean a variety of different things, um, as you can see. It's got to be distilled from grain, it's got to be aged in a barrel, but it's all very, very much different. They say uh, Scotland are the people uh, that invented it. So you have your Scotch whiskey. This one is a single malt, meaning it's from a single type of grain. Then you have one that's blended. Um, these tend to be cheaper. These are the more expensive ones. Um, they spell it W-H-I-S-K-Y, but their neighbors over in Ireland spell it W-H-I-S-K-E-Y. What difference does it make? None. I guess it's the way the Brits spell color and the Americans spell color. Um, whiskey and whiskey are the same things. Um, it doesn't even depend on the country anymore. I mean, there are people in the United States using the S-K-Y uh, ending instead of the S-K-E-Y ending. Trivial stuff. Um, in case you ever go to a spelling bee, both are correct. Um, the Japanese make whiskey. Um, the Himalayans make whiskey. Uh, over in India, they make whiskey. Even the Canadians make whiskey. Um, they all have a different set of standards and they all use different types of grain. We come to the United States, the proud um, whiskey of choice is bourbon. This is for me is the king of bourbons, it's Mick Michter's. Um, I think it's better than Pappy, I've tasted both side by side. This is the real king of bourbon and they have a great line. They have your regular American whiskey, they have your rye which is made from rye seed and they have sour mash. Um, again. These are all made from different ingredients. This one being mostly corn. This could be a blend. This one could be nothing but rye, stuff that you get in your pastrami sandwich or in your bagels, whatever. Canadians, I don't know enough about it. I don't want to say anything bad, but they could basically make it out of anything they want. They might even be able to add artificial coloring. So Canadian is not my favorite. Irish is not my favorite. My favorite is scotch and good old American whiskey, whether it be sour mash, uh, bourbon, or rye. So there's a lot to go over here. Um, so we're going to save the next part of this for a different episode, starting with scotch. Hope you join us.